the horse coming into this carriage requires quite a lot of muscular change within his body. So here's the opposite. So this would be the horse above the bit. So this is the horse in what I would call the spiral of increasing tension. So we've all sat on horses like this. We all know they can be hard to ride. They're uncomfortable to sit on. You probably can't steer. It might be heavy in your hand. You might have no brakes. You've got all sorts of problems up here. Its ears are coming up towards your chin. So this horse is retracting his neck away from contact with the rein, hollowing his back in a way that this gets short so this whole top line has become short and the underline has become longer as his tummy hangs down although his tummy hangs down his rubber cage generally contracts because he tends to hold himself slab sided this horse is not breathing well right and his rib cage is kind of held tight taking very shallow breaths his tummy hangs down his back is hollow, his whole top line here is shortened, his ears are coming back towards your chin, the under muscles of his neck are probably quite big and bulky, his tummy is hanging down and his hindquarters will be more out behind him. And you're up there probably feeling this horse go thunker, 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 thunker. It's not very comfortable to sit on, you're in bigger trouble, it makes it harder to you, you in turn start to that makes it harder for him. He gets more hollow. He retracts himself away more from your rein, from your backside, from your thighs. You bump more. You make it worse for him. He makes it worse for you. You make it worse for him. And we've all been there at some time in, his, in our lives. And the sweat is dripping down your back and you're having a horrible ride. And there's nothing you'd like more than to get the horse on the bit. But what you really mean when you think that is here we go of completing the circuit i'm just going to go back a moment so sorry i pressed the wrong button here let's come to this side so here's this horse coming into the seeking reflexes that are the opposite of what we just looked at so in the neck reaches and arches into the rain. It's almost like the neck is elongated out of the wither. So sometimes when the horse is in the spiral of tension and he's in those retracting reflexes, sometimes his neck can be a bit like a tortoise putting his neck and his head back under his shell. And this is like the tortoise reaching his head and his neck out of the shell. And the neck becomes more of a crest. So the lines are showing us a more novice horse the filled in lines are showing us a more advanced horse okay so the neck becomes more of a crest these under muscles which were very developed in the other horse they become just more relaxed and more neutral and over time they get less strong the wither potentially lifts the back lifts the feeling of this back when you sit on it is really different to the feeling on the back of the horse before. So that other horse might be going thunker, 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 thunker. He might going boing, boing, boing. But he might feel like a plank. Whatever he's doing, it won't be very nice up there. On this horse, there's going to be a feeling of something that has filled itself out and made itself much more substantial to sit on. And the whole quality of the movement is so much more smooth and so much more easy. The horse is now breathing more fully. His rib cage expands. His top line here has lengthened. His bottom line here has shortened. He's actually shortened his tummy. In fact, you can see this tummy line of muscle here. He shortened his tummy as his top has, as it were, filled out. And his croup lowers a little bit, his tail becomes much more carried. And because his movement becomes so much easier to sit on, he becomes more rideable, more steerable, more receptive.